What about happiness? What is the connection between love, justice, and happiness? And what I've written here is happiness happens. It happens in what? Moments. These happy moments usually occur at times that are unexpected and for reasons that are not always understood. These quote-unquote happy moments should be accepted as such, understood as such, and remembered as such. Now, you say, well, happiness, you know, happens in moments? Yes. There's no such thing as a happy day. You don't have a happy day. Happiness always comes in moments. And once that moment is gone, it's gone. But you can remember it. That's why we photo- have photograph albums. And mm-hmm. Have fires and whatnot, forest fires, burn down the whole house. What do the people say? Well, you know, we lost our car and we lost my garden tools out there in the garage and all like that because the garage burned down on the car and the tools and the uh, part of the house. But uh, it happened to burn, you know, it, the fire happened to burn that part of the house down that uh, we had our photographs. And that's the thing that really hurts us most. Why? (laughs) Because the photographs, even though you very seldom look at them, if people really admit the truth, all those photographs that you treasure so much, you very seldom look at those photographs. Yes. Hundreds of them. (laughs) And, And while I'm talking about photographs, I'd like to mention this. If you want to capture your happy moments on photographs, and most people do, put the date, the time, and the people who are in the picture on the back of that photograph. Why? I've been neglecting to do that, to say this, and I've been trying to remind myself to say this, because there are whole trunks full of photographs, and they'll be gathering them up and putting them in the African American Museum, by the way. I mean, but there are thousands of photographs that people have taken down through the years. And when you turn those photographs over, nobody can remember when they were taken, who the people are, what the occasion was, anything about it. Okay. Stop and think about it. Look at those photographs that you have. What are the dates and the times on it? None. All right? For most of it. But yet, I have seen people sometimes look through old albums find a lot of photographs in an old trunk somewhere over in Aunt Agnes' attic. And they'll say, you know what? Our whole family history is here. But we don't know none of these people. Right. We don't know when the pictures were taken, where they were taken. We don't know whether that's Aunt Agnes over here, over in the left-hand corner of this picture, or whether that's her sister, Sarah. Okay. All right? People are doing that even as we speak. And they say, it's just terrible. We can identify these people. And this is our whole family history right here, right in front of us. But we don't know any of the people. I can't even identify my baby picture. Wow. Why? Because it didn't say whether it was me or my sister. 